The topic of today's discussion is phenomena of bits. In other words, we'll study superposition of two simple harmonic motions of nearly same frequency. moving in same direction. So, they are not exactly same. But, the frequencies are very close. So, if frequency of one is omega 1 and the frequency of another SHM is omega 2 then their difference is less than say 10 Hertz where omega 1 and omega 2 are very large numbers but the difference of two large numbers is very small less than or of the order of 10 Hertz let us re-emphasize two things concerning bits one is they move in the same direction so the two SHMs are moving in the same direction and secondly their frequencies are not exactly same so omega 1 is not equal to omega 2 but they differ only slightly and there is another phenomena which is referred to as creation of a standing wave. The conditions, however, differ here. Firstly, to produce standing wave, the two waves should move not in the same direction, but in the opposite direction. And secondly, their frequencies should be same. Let us consider two waves. And we emphasize that these waves are periodic. These waves are simple harmonic. In other words, we have considered two sinusoidal plane waves and the equations describing such waves are say a cos of omega 1 t minus k 1 x and let us consider another wave described by this equation. Here, x1, x2 or x, they all refer to displacement t refers to time a refers to amplitude omega1, omega2 refers to frequency to be specific angular frequency and the velocity of the two waves in air assuming that they are sound wave is say V which is 332 meter per second and it is given by this ratio so k represents the wave number but the propagation constant now to make things simple let us observe the waves at a point so let us choose x equal to 0 so the point of observation is x equal to 0 
In other words, we will study time evolution. at a fixed point x equal to 0. Therefore, these waves take the shape while x2 is Here omega 1 and omega 2 are large numbers and these two oscillations are fast oscillations since their frequency is very large. It is to be noted that x1 and x2 are two sound waves which are longitudinal waves. Let us find the resultant displacement and to find it we have to apply principle of linear superposition. So the resultant displacement is say x which is x1 plus x2 and we can take a common so what we get is Let us write it as omega 2 minus omega 1 because cosine is an even function. We can write it in any way. Let us define mean frequency or average frequency as omega bar. Sum of the two frequencies divided by 2. and the difference frequency which we denote by delta omega which is omega 2 minus omega 1. So with these definitions let us rewrite the resultant displacement which is let us write this term first into cosine of omega bar t. Clearly there are two parts, one is cos omega bar t and the other one involving cos delta omega by 2 t. And we have to identify which one represents the phase part and which one will go into the amplitude part. Let us note from here that omega 1 and omega 2 are large numbers. So when they are added and divided by 2 that is taken average of, we still end up with a large number. So this is a large number. On the other hand, difference between two large numbers is a small number. So this is a very small number. It therefore follows that this part will represent a fast oscillation because it involves omega bar. So just as the individual waves x1 and x2, the resultant displacement or oscillation is also a fast oscillation. So the conclusion, first conclusion is that resultant oscillation or wave represents a fast oscillation with frequency omega just like the individual oscillations of the superposing waves. Now we come to the next part which involves 
delta omega which is very small number and therefore this oscillation is a very slow oscillation and therefore can be included in the amplitude part so the factor 2a cos delta omega y2 into t represents a slow variation or oscillation and we identify it as amplitude and let us write it as a of t because it varies it is time dependent so this is a of t the resultant amplitude but the individual superposing waves had constant amplitude but the resultant wave has an amplitude that varies over time but the variation is very slow so we can write it as where a t is the amplitude given by this expression so let us write that amplitude varies with time so the conclusion that we arrive at is the resultant oscillation resultant wave is not a simple harmonic oscillation so the motion or the oscillation is not a simple harmonic motion so though the individual component superposing waves were simple harmonic the resultant wave is not simple harmonic the fast oscillation part will therefore be controlled or modulated or enveloped by this slowly varying amplitude part so the fast oscillation of cos omega bar t will be modulated by the amplitude which is slowly varying with time this is also called envelope and this envelope is time dependent and the variation is a slow variation so let us rewrite the things that we got or make a gist this is the resultant oscillation this we identify as the phase part and the phase part represents fast oscillation this part is periodic part and the frequency is omega 1 which is comparable to omega 1 omega 2 it is large highly oscillating part on the other hand this part we identified as the amplitude part this part executes slow oscillation this part is also periodic and the frequency of variation is delta omega by 2 
or delta omega nearly and this wave is not simple harmonic and this part that is the modulating part the envelope it controls the fast oscillation or modulates the fast oscillations. Let us now study the variation of the amplitude part which is controlled by this factor. And this is the amplitude. So for it to be 0, cos of 0 is 1 and therefore this is twice a, this is maximum. For this to be pi by 2, cos of pi by 2 is 0. So we have a minimum at pi, it is maximum again because cos of pi is minus 1, so it is minus twice a, so again a maximum. 3 pi by 2 it is 0 so it's a minimum and then we have 2 pi this is twice a so we have a maximum again and the thing repeats so at this point the amplitudes of the superposing waves a and a they reinforce they help each other and therefore we have a maximum on the other hand at this point or at this period of time what happens is these amplitudes they oppose each other they destroy each other and therefore on mutual cancellation we have a minimum or zero now what is the effect of all this so the sound that we hear will be at this point of time, the sound heard will be large, it will be loud, that is maximum. On the other hand, at this point of time, the sound heard will be soft or low. It will not be heard, it is a minimum. Then again, at pi, it is loud, then again it is soft or zero and then loud. So it is clear that the sound is modulated is called the phenomena of beats. A maximum or a loud sound is followed by a minimum or a low sound and then again a loud sound or a maxima and it goes on like that. Let us now find the time difference between two maximum and the two maxima occurs at zero and pi corresponding to this phase. So time between two maxima say so at zero we had a maxima at pi again we had a maxima the corresponding time will be zero it will be actually 2 by delta omega into 0 here also 2 by delta omega into pi so let us call it t1 let us call it t2 so the difference of time is 2 pi by delta omega minus 0 so it is 2 pi by delta omega 
this is called the beat period or beat time period because beat refers to this variation from one maxima to another maxima through a minima so this is a bit the time of which is 2 pi by delta omega we can write it as 1 by delta f where delta f is a linear bit frequency and delta omega is equal to 2 pi delta f this will be angular bit frequency and in fact bit frequency means number of bits per second or number of maxima or number of minima and this twice a represents bit amplitude we will now proceed to calculate the intensity and then give a pictorial demonstration of bits but before that let me write a formal definition or gist when two simple harmonic periodic waves of very close frequencies are superposed the resultant wave executes fast oscillation but is not simple harmonic as its amplitude varies slowly with time with a frequency equal to the difference of frequencies of the component waves and this gives rise to alteration to be specific waxing and waning that is increase and decrease of sound this is bits this is called bits this is the phenomena of bits let us now calculate the intensity The expression of the resultant oscillation involves two frequencies. One is delta omega, the other is omega bar. This is a very high frequency and this is a very low frequency. Now which frequency do we hear? That will be evident from the intensity calculation. Now since this omega bar is very large or this part represents a fast oscillation, our ear will not be able to follow it so cos omega bar t the phase part represents a fast movement or oscillation our ear cannot record 
what happens every moment to record what happens every moment is beyond the capacity of the ear so ear drum is pushed every moment but our ear records what happens over a period of time that is the average effect so ear records or feels an average effect over a time which we call time average now intensity say i let us take it to be proportional to x square where x is the resultant displacement and then we have to take a time average as specified so this is an intensity the unit is watt per meter square so it is power per unit area or energy per unit time per unit area now as delta omega or delta omega by t is small the variation is small over a time scale and so we can take it outside on the other hand this omega bar is large and so the rapid ups and downs or the fluctuations are to be taken care of and we average over it or we have to average over it so this part will produce an average effect this produces an average effect so this part produces an average effect an effect which we spoke of here when we spoke of time average so we have this part going out and the average is over cos square omega bar t the value of which is half when we average over a period so what we end up with is i is proportional to cos square delta omega by 2 t a very important result and it shows that ear will record the slow variation and not the fast variation so we conclude that ear records the slow modulation of amplitude with frequency delta omega and some points closer the omega 1 and omega 2 delta omega becomes smaller and the modulation or the variation become slow
that is in other words delta omega which is the beat frequency angular beat frequency to be precise that is number of beats per second that will fall so as the frequency of the component waves merge beats will be smaller and smaller and finally when omega 1 and omega 2 are same delta omega is zero there will be no variation in amplitude and beats will disappear application we'll study the application in a separate lecture let us mention just one tuning of a guitar or a musical instrument is done by hearing the beats so if beats are there the two wires are not tuned but if beats vanish the two wires produce the same frequency sound and they are tuned we will now give a pictorial representation or a graphical representation of beats. This is the ordinate along which we place say x1. This is another ordinate along which we place another component wave x2 and the resultant will be shown here. The abscissa represents time now let us show the amplitudes a minus a a minus a the amplitudes were chosen to be same so this is a this is twice a this is a this is minus twice a And the oscillations will be counted up to say this period of time suppose x1 makes 1 2 3 4 oscillations so this is one oscillation 2 3 and 4 oscillation and in the same period of time x2 makes say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 oscillations so the bit frequency will be 7 minus 4 3 so there will be three maxima in this period of time. This is the first maxima, this is the second maxima, and this is the third maxima. And the oscillations will be so this corresponds to minima well these are maxima we note that if we start counting from this point we end up with one two three minima and one two three maxima so sound alternates over time a loud sound followed by a zero sound and then again a loud sound followed by a zero sound and then again a loud sound followed by a zero sound so this gives rise to beats
Now this part of curve is referred to as envelope or the modulation. It is given by the frequency is delta omega by 2 or delta omega and the time period is 2 pi by delta omega and this is the oscillation part so this represents oscillation the first oscillation it is represented by cos omega bar t frequency is omega bar and the time period of this first oscillation is 2 pi by omega bar so this is large number so t oscillation is small implying that the variations are very rapid within but the amplitude varies slowly because delta omega is a small number so T amplitude is large number so variations occur slowly so it is a slow modulation